What's happening YouTube? This is Joe Woodcock for MacintoshTutorials.webs.com a new website dedicated to tutorials all on Macs. At the moment you're viewing a desktop of a aluminium Mac running Mac OS X 10.5.8 with 2 gig RAM and a 2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor and let's begin. I'm going to teach you how to install Windows 7 on your Mac using VMware Fusion 3. Now, first thing you want to do is get VMware Fusion 3. Now, you can either buy this um, properly, I think it retails at around, I'm not even sure how much it costs, but um, it's too much to me, to be honest. And if you feel that it's too much for you, I can show you how to get it for free. Now, first of all, you want to head over to the first link in my description from Mininova. This will give you a link. Oh, by the way, you will need, actually, I should tell you what you're going to need for this tutorial. You are going to need uTorrent and a decent Mac. I'm pretty sure any um, PowerBooks or Power Mac G4s aren't going to be able to run Windows simultaneously with Mac OS X. So don't hold my word for it though, you might have to research it. So as I was, first of all head over to mininova.org. This is basically a torrent website. This is a website where you're going to download torrents and download programs. And once you've done this, you want to download this torrent. This will then download it and you can open it in uTorrent, which is over here. Now, I have already downloaded VMware Fusion, but we won't show you that. So far, I've already downloaded VMware Fusion. Now, you know, either need to get your hands on a legit copy of Microsoft Windows 7 or you can again torrent it. This is going to be in the second link in my description where you can go onto the website and simply click download this torrent. Once you've done that, another little download window will appear. And oh, look at that. You've got Windows 7. First of all, you have to download it. <coughs> Excuse me, using torrents again. Here it is. Roughly 2.5, well, 2.23 gigs, and I am uploading. As you can see, should be very grateful those who are downloading it. And um, yeah, basically, they're all the things you're going to need if you want to install it via torrents. Next, what you're going to need is boot up VMware Fusion. Now, as you can see, since I've already installed an operating system it's going to be a lot easier for me but you when you boot up VMware Fusion 3 and install the crack and whatnot you've got Windows 7 it will ask you simply what operating system do you want to install which is a lot simpler but for those of you who already have XP like me then you're going to head over head over to file new now this will give you the hint to install the virtual machine. Now since we've downloaded Windows 7 we're going to continue without the disk and use the image file. Now for me this is simply in my works and then downloads Windows 7 and there it is. Simple, no? And then you continue. Yes this is Microsoft Windows 7 you might have to change that if I'm not sure but it came up automatically for me. Now, you want to use the easy install. This basically tells you your, what you want your account name, your password to be, which is optional. And if you've got a legit copy, it, copy of it, you're going to into the product key. Since if you downloaded the torrent that I suggested earlier, you will not need the product key. Yes, it is pre-activated. How wonderful for you. You want to continue? Yes, you want to continue without key. Now, VMware Fusion enables you to share documents. Now, personally, I prefer to use More Seamless, where it shares your Mac documents, but it's up to you. You can choose More Isolated if you wish. More Isolated means 
that all files dedicated to Windows will just be in the virtual machine. Once you've done that, you want to continue. Now, this is the default configuration for Windows 7. I personally, since I've only got 2 gig of RAM on this, I want to oops. I want to I don't want 1 gig of RAM. No sir. I only want 512. So you can enter that in and there you go. That's that done. You can also edit any other of the um, settings but personally that's all I want. Now we've done that. We've got Windows 7 in our virtual machine. Woo! But wait a minute, it's not installed yet. So we'll boot it up and we'll wait for the magic to happen. There we go, Windows is loading files. You can minimize your virtual your virtual machine library since you don't need it at the moment. So now Windows is loading the files. This is from a disk image so you have no CD drive going mad whilst you're installing unless you're installing from a legit copy. Now, looks like it's working. Whilst this working, I'm going to suggest you head over to my website, which is macintoshtutorials.webs.com. I don't want to keep advertising, but I really want to get this website up and going. That is me, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Right. Look at this. We've got Windows 7 going. Before I mention anything else, I might want to mention that you can install the beta version as well. But what's the point in having a beta when you can have the full version? Just torrent it. Yes, it's probably not the best thing to do and you feel like a cheapskate, but you get an operating system for free. So, while setup is starting, we'll just let it do its thing. I may, if this takes too long, pause it and... Um, oh, no. Right. Installing Windows, that's all the fa information we need right now. Your computer will stay, restart seven times during the installation. Well, it only installs, tw it only restarts twice. You don't have to worry about that. Now, I'm going to pause the video whilst all these install, and then I'll continue once they're all installed, and I'll help you on your way to installing Windows 7 on your Macintosh. Okay, since I was trimming, I might want to mention that it booted up again, it's restarted, and that's to nothing of my own fault, it's meant to happen, just in case you didn't know. Uh, okay then, so we're starting Windows. I've got a little loading icon on my cursor. Oh, that's nice. Oh, big loading icon. Oh, here we go. Whole new screen. Welcome. Quite like welcome. It is preparing my desktop. Thank you, Windows 7. You're very kind. Still preparing my desktop. Preparing. Ah, look at this. Windows 7. In case you hadn't noticed, at the moment it's installing VMware tools, which enables me to use VMware to its full extent. And look at this, it's asked me to select a local location for the network. Network. Hmm. Okay. Um, I tell you what, I'm just going to cancel that. But I think I'm going to end the tutorial here. I've shown you all how to install Windows 7. That's all this tutorial needed. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out MacintoshTutorials.webs.com where you can do all sorts of fancy things and watch tutorials just like this one. And um, I hope you have fun with Windows 7 and thanks for listening.